Hey guys, it's Bobby, otherwise known as Vacuum Freak or Alero Lover. I just wanted to make a video to show you guys some of my favorite vacuum cleaners and other appliances. I know some of you are into other appliances as well, so I wanted to show some of the things that I have that I think make life more fun. First, you'll have to ignore that ugly couch. It was given to me for free when I moved into my apartment, and I haven't gotten another one yet. I haven't found one I like a lot better enough to buy one. And I don't know anyone with a truck, so I'll have to rent something when I find something better. But that's the ugly couch. Alright, now first up for vacuum, since that's my primary passion, we have the Eureka. Okay, the blue ESP self propels. The brushes are bad, it won't turn on, so uh, i got to fix that. But my favorite is the Eureka 1934A. It's the newest Eureka that I got, and it is pretty uh, good. It's powerful and lightweight, and it makes a really nice sound, so I like it a lot. That Tenetaire with the Dirt Cup, the SC887, I don't like much. I may throw it away, unless any of you are coming to Florida and want it. Um, it's got a dirt cup in it, and it blows dirt out of the sides. It's not sealed very well. I don't like it. These are my Hoovers. Uh, and they're pretty cool. I like them. The uh, self-propelled ones, the Dilematic and the Concept are my favorites. I don't like the Dilematic much, but the Concept is pretty amazing. And it was the first vacuum I got that I started collecting, so it's got a lot of special value, sentimental value to me. The Innovation was a $10 Craigslist find. I like it. I got the original attachments for it. It works, but the handle release is broken, so it doesn't keep the handle in an upright position. I tried to fix it with some JB Weld, but it didn't hold, so I've got to go back in there with something stronger. Some Royals, the red one, too loud to use much, and the 801, which I like, but it, it doesn't uh, pick up very well. It's not powerful. I do have a brand new brush roll for it. But it's quiet and pretty, so I keep it. Got Kirby Dual Sanitronic 80, Kirby Heritage 2, and Kirby G5, which I love. I went and went for a long time, so when I finally found this on Craigslist, I bought it. And had it for maybe three years now. I like it a lot. And the Singer system, which was a vacuum from my childhood. Not this particular one, but this model. And uh, I don't use it much, but I like it. I'm glad I have it. Dirt Devil Broom Vac, which I really like. It's a fun vacuum. Um, it's pretty powerful, and I like. I just like the way it looks. So, very glad to have that. I use it pretty often. Um, we have the Dyson DC-14, which is one of my favorites. I love it. I know lots of people hate Dyson, or... Or something, but I don't. I like them a lot. I like all the Dyson models. I think they're great vacuums. They're easy to use, powerful, and uh, if you're going to go bagless, I think, in my opinion, it's the only one to even consider. Of course, we have the Oric 100C, which is a nice vacuum. It's loud, but I like it. I like that I can hang out on the wall, which I'm going to do with some of these, because I don't have room on the floor for anymore. And I like the foot switch. I'd rather have a foot switch than a, a handle switch. So, it's nice. Coming over to the little corner of clutter, I have a Vorwerk that was given to me for free by a vacuum shop owner I knew a few years ago named Rick from Deltona, Florida. He's close to shop since, and we lost touch, but it was nice. It's a, uh, a telescoping handle, and it's got a swivel uh, power head on it, so it's pretty cool. The rubber-bladed Scotch-Brite sweepers in the back, it's pretty cool. It works well. And the swivel sweeper that I never use. Also have the Hoover Seam Vac, which is okay. I'd rather have one with a clear hose that's permanently attached because I don't like to connect it when I want to use it. It's pretty annoying to have to do. Got the Kenmore Bagless Iridium, which is made by LG. It was made by LG for Sears a few years ago. Kind of works like a Dyson, meaning that it doesn't have the internal chamber filter. It's just cyclonic. And there's the power nozzle with the quick release wand. Electrolux Diamond Jubilee. Rainbow SE that I never use because it uh, doesn't have any wheels. My roommates before threw them out, so I'm glad to live alone now. Um, and I don't like to make mud, so I never use that. Filter Queen, pretty bad shave actually. The thing's peeling on the side there. Got to fix that up. Hoover Celebrity, which I love. Fixed power nozzle, so that's good. And the Mila Plus so that I got for 20 bucks at a flea market, so that makes me happy. Over here we have the Dirt Devil Broom Vac, or Stick Vac, that I rescued from the trash, and it works great for the kitchen. Hoover Constellation, I don't use it very much, but 
yeah, everyone has to have a constellation and a convertible, right? And a heritage, even if you don't like them. So, anyway, I got some handvacs up here that were, uh, two of them were given to me by another collector named Carmen on a different forum. Um, this is e an Apex handvac and the Singer handvac. The Dirt Devil I bought, it's the only one I actually used. The others are too old, I think, to use. I just want to keep them, you know, as nice as possible. And the last vacuum that I have to show, of course, is the newest one, the self-propelled wind tunnel that I like a lot. I haven't even found a place for it yet, but uh, it's a nice vacuum. I haven't even stopped using it since I got it, so it's still unplugged and out. But it's a lot of fun, so I'm glad I have that finally. Moving into the kitchen. Um, I like to bake and cook a lot, so I have the KitchenAid stand mixer, of course, just the basic one, but I like the tilt head better than the bow lift anyway. I just wish it was red. Maybe I'll paint it one day. And this is the stainless steel GE microwave and convection oven combo, which is pretty cool. It works well. This is the Mullinex food processor that my grandma gave me when I was a teenager, and it works well, too. I like it. Um, it's a nice food processor. I'll be sad when it breaks and I have to replace it with something modern. Of course, the GE Nautilus portable dishwasher. My apartment didn't come with a dishwasher. And I bake and cook a lot, and I do not hand wash as much as possible. I try to avoid that. I love the dishwasher. Next appliance is the EdgeStar CW1200. It's hooked up to the kitchen bathroom sink and it drains in the bathtub and it works pretty well. It takes a long time to dry and it makes a funny noise sometimes so it's going to break on me one day but that's alright because then I can get the LG when it goes so I'm fine with that. This is the Antique Brother sewing machine. It's all metal and it works good. It works well but I uh, don't use it anymore because I replaced it with a plastic one that is all electronic that I like better. It's called the Brother PC420 and it works very well. It's got the automatic thread slice button, which is cool. The throttle and the start-stop button so you don't need a foot pedal. And of course, the bar that you can insert in that little hole there and make it uh, raise and lower the foot, the presser foot so you don't need to use that lever in the back there with your hands. And you can keep all your hands on the material at the same time without, uh, you know, needing to use them to manipulate the presser foot. I had a friend who gave me that little sewing machine clock, which is kind of cool. A little fan there that I sleep with every night. That's my buddy. It helps me to sleep, and uh, I've even traveled with it because I can't sleep without it. So it's cool. It's a modern one, but it looks old. The Hunter Century fan is what it's called, and it's all metal, which is very nice. And the last thing I want to show you is another laundry appliance. It's called the Rowenta Steam Generator Iron, and it's cool. It puts out a lot of steam, a very powerful blast of steam continuously which I like. I don't like the, the many other things about it though. It takes like 11 minutes to heat up and I'm always in a hurry when I try to iron for work so I don't like that. It takes way too long. You can't tell when you're running out of water until it just stops making steam and you can't tell when you're overfilling it until the water cascades out of it. It kind of looks like Niagara Falls in my apartment every time I fill that thing up so that's annoying. So that's it. Thanks guys for watching.